Hi, my name is David Steele. I'm a product manager at Arcturus. What I want to show you today is what you can do using our middleware solutions for microcontroller devices. So uh, let me just explain a little bit about uh, the setup that I have here. First of all, I've got a Freescale tower development system. Uh, this one's running the Kinetis K60 processor, which is an ARM-based MCU with 512K of flash and 128K of SRAM. It's connected back to my local network here, which is all running off my uh, little wireless gateway, uh, which my laptop is also connected to, and it's running a very lightweight uh, SIP server. I've got a IP phone here, and I've also got an IP camera and an iPad, which is connected wirelessly back to the same network. What I want to show you first is a very simple demo uh, using voice and media middleware that we've developed in conjunction with Encore software. After uh, some basic uh, setup and configuration, what you can do is assign a speed dial setting to an input. And in this case, the input is actually just a push button at the uh, front of the uh, tower board. So when I press that, that's just going to place a call back to the IP phone that we have here. Just going to hang that up again. Now, this is useful for uh, a lot of push to call type of applications, perhaps in things like building systems where you might have a door entrance, uh, phone system, back to a concierge, or some other security application, perhaps in an elevator. Uh, also, healthcare applications for nurse call systems where a patient may press a button and need to have two way voice communications with staff that could assist them. What we can do, though, is we can sort of expand this demo a little bit more, and I can show you our uh, management middleware as well. And in particular, what I want to show you there is our device virtualization service. What it does is it virtualizes the management and operation of the MCU into a lightweight IP-based protocol. And what that does is it saves uh, considerable resources from inside the processor. You don't need to put in uh, an embedded web server and web pages. You can actually extract that all out and still retain all of the uh, uh, usefulness by creating very feature-rich and graphically intensive uh, interfaces. And also uh, use the device virtualization service to integrate uh, the MCU device into overall system workflow. Uh, let me show you what I mean uh, by using the iPad. So let me just uh, turn this on. Let me just uh, unlock it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the option of single device management. And that's going to show me a list of devices that I can connect to by IP address and MAC. And I'm going to choose this particular device right here. Then I'm going to choose the option to control it. And then this brings up a page that's uh, directly connected back to, to this Kinetis platform. And I can see basic status and configuration uh, uh, options here. I can see that the SIP uh, uh, status is registered. So we're connected back to a SIP server and registered with that. I can see it's ready to place or receive a call. I can see that the management status is connected as well. And I also have the option to control uh, some of the outputs from the Kinetis device as well. Now we've got some LEDs right down at the front here. Hopefully you can see those. And what I can do is I can just, from the GUI on the uh, iPad here, I can just uh, turn those on uh, and uh, turn them off. Now what that does is it extends the capability of both uh, the voice over IP system to uh, handle outputs now as well. So if we think of the paradigm that I mentioned before, building systems or healthcare systems, we now have the ability to uh, unlock a door uh, by clicking on, on a button here. And the Kinetis device can then signal a door controller. Or we can turn on a lamp to say that your uh, call has been received and that help is on the way. Let me just uh, turn these off again. And uh, we can also handle call control under the same interface as well. So I placed a call using the push button to the IP uh, phone before. In this case, I'm just going to dial extension 1000, which is that extension. And you can hear it's placed a call to that, uh, to that IP phone as well. Now, one of the cool things that you can do now that we've sort of abstracted uh, the management and operation of this uh, Kinetis device, we can take other IP elements and we can integrate them into the same system. So for example, as you can see right down here, uh, I've integrated, uh, I've got this uh, IP camera integrated into the same uh, interface. And I can control the zoom and pan and tilt functions of that IP camera as well. 
where that's pretty cool is where you can look at overall system-wide workflow. So we've talked about these two paradigms as, as examples in healthcare and in building systems. Now we have video uh, integration as well. So that video camera could be pointed at a patient in a patient's room, or it could be pointed at the door where the person is calling from to try to get access to the building. So you've got two-way voice communications, you've got control, uh, and you've also got uh, integrated video communications all running over this one uh, integrated system. Uh, so, and, and this integrated system, just to, just to point out, is the same uh, application that would run on an Android device or on an iPhone or in a PC system. So it gives you a full breadth of capability from both fixed uh, mobile convergent uh, workflow applications. You might have, for example, a nurse that's got a tablet that's walking around from patient's room to patient's room. Uh, or you might require some form of central operation where you're handling many devices at the same time, such as a security desk for, for a large building. Hopefully that gives you a bit of a picture of what you're capable of doing uh, using our uh, middleware solutions for MCU devices. Of course, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get a hold of us. And also, don't forget to check out ArcturusNetworks.com. Thanks for your time.